All right, folks, God bless you. And welcome to This Is It Before the Fire. All right, let's go, guys. All right, this is the time to take all little kids out of the room. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, <clears throat> if your eye offends you, pluck it out. It's better to enter the kingdom with one eye than to be cast into hell where the worm never dies and the fire is never quenched. Um, I'm going to show you guys a common denominator now. And um, it's pretty gruesome, so just stay with me, but it needs to be made. Now, here's another thing I want to mention. I've seen some comments, not many, but occasionally, um, girls af being offended about the female energy. Uh, everybody's got to get over the genitalia thing. It has nothing to do with whether or not you're a female or a male. That doesn't matter. You have to understand that if you have the Lord God, a singularity, a singularity that splits his, allows his singularity to be split into two things. And it starts in earth. And those two things are male and female by Elohim. Okay. That is attached to another dimension, like a vacuum. So imagine one, one dimension's a vacuum pulling and the other dimension is one that's the opposite. So one is pushing, one's pulling um, in the system. So everybody needs to get over the whole girl thing. I've seen a couple of people, oh, you always mention girls. That's not true. It's twin female energy from the pit. It's the most wicked thing there is. Uh, our father is in heaven. That's why you pray our father. He is the father of lights, the father of spirits. And then you have the mother goddess that runs the earth system, the host body system that started the host body system. It's parthenogenesis. But he, he said, let us, he said, I'm sorry, in the image of Elohim created he him. In the, in the image of Elohim created he him. Male and female created he them. So him. See how Lucifer, the flesh, the flesh is the opposition of the spirit of the Lord God. So the flesh is the opposition of the spirit of the Lord God. And female energy is what started that. So everybody put away all that. Uh, just uh, it's, you know, any feminism stuff here. I don't care. I don't I don't put up with it. I don't, I don't tolerate it. Sorry. Because it's it's wrong if you if you come and you start pushing that stuff here. It's just like, sorry, no, you've misperceived it. And obviously, if you're misperceiving it in that way, how could you have been set free of it? Hmm. If you're misperceiving, oh, you're always talking bad about girls. That's not true. All right, so just be advised. All right, so now here we go. Y'all ready? Little kids out of the room. I'm going to make a common denominator because this has everything to do with the host body system, the Statue of Liberty, and all this stuff that y'all need to know. I'm going to do a couple videos that are coming up that are going to be just like going to class in college where I'm going to say this is a hendecagram. This is the origin, you know, show you the way the Lord taught me because the Lord taught me all of this. No one taught me. The Lord told me. Go look up an 11-pointed star. I was like, go look up an 11-pointed star? It's a hendecagram. And then it says it's used in Kabbalistic and Jewish Kabbalistic cosmology to represent the host body called the Kelepot. So the Lord educated me on how to understand all this. So if you find that offensive, then don't stay here. It's that simple. Okay, now, y'all ready? Let's, let's tear it to pieces. Okay, in Matthew, um, Matthew 25, or I think it's 24, when the disciples show Jesus, they want to show Jesus all the beautiful buildings. They mention all the beautiful buildings of the temple. And Jesus says, do you not see all these things? He didn't say buildings. He said, see ye not all these things. And if you look up the word things, it's personal pronouns. He, her, him, they, them. Um, then he says, 
there shall not be one stone left upon another that is not thrown down. Well, have you noticed the end of the world is this major gender confusion thing? Oh, yeah. It's like elevating gender over everything. Well, that's fascinating because it is two energies at war, so it makes total sense. All right. Now, without any more talking, let's get into it. Y'all ready? This is a scene from The Thing. Now, do you remember that there's an entity, Elohim, that turns everything upside down, turns you upside down. So there's an upside down you and there's a right side up you. How many times have I told you that? And they've been joined together, melded together. And what owns that, what what runs that is the pit. That's why you have to turn back to the Lord God and ask for forgiveness. Because if you die in that, that situation, one up, one down, then you go to the pit. And your your soul and your essence is forfeited to the angel of the bottomless pit where you are assimilated into a locust. That is the exact wordage, exact verbiage in Revelation 9. Um, <clears throat> the shapes of the locusts, the word shapes, when you walk it back to the root, it says to assimilate. They're, they have faces like men, hair like women, teeth like lion like scorpions so if you go to revelation 9 and you just walk back the word shapes it says to assimilate because we are being assimilated into another race of beings in the pit using the host body as a medium a, a, like an intermediate stage in order to destroy the angel to get his essence to the pit so the host body is just an intermediate stage it's an illusion to destroy the angel and get their essence to the pit that's what it is Okay, so now, ready? Here we go. This is from The Thing. And I mentioned purposely Matthew 24, see not all these things, because I want you to remember the right side up, upside down paradigm. Okay, here we go. Again, take all the kids out of the room. Sit down. Put him over there on the couch. Okay, so I'm going to pause it there now. I just want you to stop and take a moment. This scene, I don't watch movies like this. Uh, they're just gnarly, but you can learn a lot. 
Um, that is identical to the cross that they carry at the Vatican when, when they do one of their little ceremonies. It's a cross that's got several sets of eyes. There's, It's basically three faces. I don't know if you guys saw the Chronicles of Riddick. Remember the Lord Marshal? He wears a mask that's got faces going two directions and one in the middle. Oh, that's funny because the movie Nefarious has the same exact thing going on. And this right here, you're not even going to believe this, but the name of this scene, the name of this scene is called The Thing Absorbs Adam. See, let's see. Watch this right here. So The Thing Absorbs Adam. We just copied this from another channel. The Thing absorbs atom see right there so this is again a manifestation of the system an upside down man absorbs the other guy and the two are melded together that's what's going on in the world you just can't see it but you can see it but you'd never believe what's really going on now i'm going to help you see it all the way all the way okay so let's let's uh we can pro let me see if there's any uh, uh so i think one thing that's important is uh we'll just give it another minute there it is they finished the shot upside down see there it is double down got a double downer now and did you notice that the thing that kind of got him was a worm yeah it's like a worm now it's not the other thing is that exact thing that grabbed the guy's face, that's no different than the bag from Zoomies. That's no different than Miley Cyrus and her red neoprene teeth on her crotch. No different than all these other things I've shown you over and over and over again. So I'm going to remind you by showing you the pictures. Now we have the common denominator over and over and over again. Uh huh. And it's biblical. That's what makes it so perfect. Here we go. There you go. There's a double downer. He's been assimilated. Adam has been assimilated into something else. And it drags him off. Anyway. Okay, now I want you to know. I, I know you guys know this, but I'm going to remind you. It's always the one eye symbology. They do it all. It's ad infinitum. Here it is. Watch. So he's like, yeah, he wants. There you go. So just like Madonna. Remember Madonna coming up? You know what? I'll just pull up Madonna real quick because I want you to see her. Here we go. Let's pause it. So Madonna calls herself now Madam X. See right here, Madam X. Here she is at Quavo, where they were telegraphing their plans of world destruction. Not everyone's going to make it to the future. Not everyone that's here is going to last. She came up out of the pit right here, had all the guys in her, their little satanic robes. But let's take a look at Madonna. Watch this. There you go. So she's got an X on her chest. She's got an X on her eye. This right here is a female. There's the eye of the eye. That's her hair. She's hatching out of the top of an insect. So this is like a chrysalis. It's like a chrysalis, but it's the head of an insect. There's a female coming out of the top, rising up out of the top. And she has a serpent on one leg and an upside down cross on the other leg. So could anybody in the world tell me what this is other than what the Lord showed me what it is? I don't think someone can even come close. Okay, here we go. Ready? So there's Madonna Quavo, Madam X. X on her eye, representing she's from that dimension down in the pit. There's the other X on her chest, 2X, and she came up from the pit. And she's a new female birthing out of the locust because... That's what has taken over all God's angels that came into the system that died. Their holiness was taken away. Their spark of holiness, it was consumed by the pit, turned into a locust, and then they're going to come out of the pit. That's the whole system. Okay, and it's easy to see one, now that all the, all the work's been done and all the scriptures have been done. The Lord did them all. I didn't do them. The Lord did them for you, through me. 
Okay, now hang on one sec. There's a new folder. It's called Dead Ringers. And uh, boy, this folder is going to just explode. So this is the girl that was in the Mummy movies. Uh, again, you have a face with three eyes. No different than the Lord Marshall Chronicles of Riddick. Uh, the cross at the Vatican. But this is obviously a vagina in the middle. And then she's got two faces going that way. But one coming, one eye making the rotation to you know make it three so here it is uh here's uh just a quick image of the evil the twins of evil it's two females with a serpent around their neck this is a band called jawbreakers twin female i mean in on and on just y'all have seen the pages of these things uh these are different ones you haven't seen probably twins of dracula same thing and then the female this is all upside down but dracula's Real, you know who Dracula really is, right? Satan's Dracula. I mean, because he consumes the cannibalistic system. That's who's the ultimate Dracula is Satan, because he consumes the cannibalistic system. That's what he does. Okay, so here we go. Let me show you some scriptures real quick. Ready? Okay, it's Hebrews eleven thirteen. So now, pay attention because I'm going to give you a couple scriptures that. You just got to get these in you because when you have them in you, you'll be, it'll help. Let me put it to you like this. When the light's in you, you can increase the light that's in a room by dialing up a rheostat. And I'm going to dial up the rheostat right now. And then think about in you. Once you've been converted, well, you've been sealed to the day of redemption. But you know what? The more truth you let come into you, the more enlightened and the more free you're going to feel. Once you really tear down this wall, it is so obvious. It's stupid obvious where you are. And then you're not afraid of anything. It's like, whatever. <laughs> What's here to be afraid of after you've seen this? Okay, here we go. Here we go. All these died in faith, having not having received the promises, but having seen them afar off and were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims on the earth. Look at this. So let's go to um, Hebrews 11, 13. Okay, here we go. Go to Hebrews eleven thirteen. Should be right there. There it is. Hebrews 11, 13. Hopefully I have it highlighted on this one. Yep. So here it is. They were strangers. Strangers. A foreign, literally alien or figurative. I'm sorry. Foreign, literally alien. A guest or vice versa. Xenos, like xenomorph and pilgrims an alien alongside now remember what just happened in the thing movie you saw see the whole system is one up one down the guy with the upside down head came and assimilated the other guy and they just took it to the extreme but there it is right in front of you here it is right here an alien alongside that is a resident foreigner. But the end of it all, now can you imagine the horror of hell? Okay, so the, where the worm never dies. Well, if you die and you don't get converted and your essence goes and you cross that barrier, that chasm, there's no coming back from it. If you can think what's in that clip you just saw, hell is going to be a hundred times worse. So I think it's fascinating that there's a clip that, literally is Adam being absorbed by this upside down worm that's called the thing. I mean, it's correct, you know, very much correct in a way. Yeah. Is it, you know, some people, well, it's not exactly like that. I understand, but you understand that it's very much correct. There's a worm in the pit that's feeding off you your whole life. You can't see it. It's no different than the Prometheus movie where the guy had the worm in his eye and then he turned into that same type thing. They put it in front of you all the time. 
Okay, so here we go. For we're strangers and we're pilgrims on the earth. And right here, look at the word for earth. It's Gaia. And it's the whole of the terrain globe right there. See it? Okay, including the occupants in each application, country, earth, ground, land, world. Okay, for they that say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. And look at the word country. Patris. Uh, that's why the Lord had me pray our father with Michael the night I got saved. Our father, water and light came down on me. Then he looked at me and said, say Hail Mary. There was no reason for me to ever wonder why I was told to say Hail Mary because I was born and raised Catholic, so it would have been totally normal. How come right after I was filled with the Holy Spirit, I looked at him like, why? Like I knew something was very wrong with it, but I didn't even know why. It's just because that new spirit had come into me. And then as I started saying the words, I could feel the light and the life leaving my body. I could feel a quantitative amount leaving. Anyway, there it is. So here it is. Patris, fatherland, heavenly home. So he so heaven is male. There it is. Potter, see it? Father, parent. Okay, so anyway, I think, I think that's a pretty important one to know. And here we go. Let's keep going. And then we're going to get to... Right here, we're going to begin the whole common denominator thing, and I'm just going to race through it. Okay, so let's just do this real quick. Okay, y'all have seen this, but I want to remind you. The two twins in the Ozzy Osbourne video, the two female twins, Mutt, that come up from the abyss and they form the serpent. Here is the Catholic coin right here. Female, female on both sides of the guy. And look what they're giving him, what everybody, a whole lot of people got. So they're going to encompass a man, and that's going to have something to do with it right there. Here is Ian in the Bud Light commercial. He's he's on both sides. Look, twin female on both sides. Female on both sides. Here the women are from the Women's March in Austin. Both of them dressed as vaginas. When Millie Weaver asked them, are y'all vaginas, they said women. And then she said, how long did it take you to make your costume? And the one demon said, since the beginning of time. That's so crazy. Yep. Okay, here we go. Now, uh, you guys have seen Devils Roll the Dice, Angels Roll Their Eyes. Two, 241 is of another race. So 241 of another race. A foreigner, that's us. And that's why she's sitting upside down. And then 336 on the other dice, a taking up a destroying slain, murder, killing slain, and murder, taking away of life. Okay, there it is. So that's not arguable because I just showed it to you. <laughs> there it is. Devils roll the dice. 241 of another race. 336 to murder, slay, kill. Devils roll the dice. Angels roll their eyes because you get turned upside down. There it is. Okay, now, here you go. Now, Psalm 73, 19, very important, very great scripture. Okay, here it is. Let's open that in Esau, 73, 19, and 20. Psalm 73, 19, and 20. One moment, here we go. Okay, guys, here we go. Okay, as a dream, okay, remember in Jude, filthy dreamers, mm -hmm. look what it means, to bind firmly, uh-huh, remember the, the thing that you just saw, <laughs> to bind firmly, we are bound together with a demon, an angel and a demon bound together in a dream state. As a dream, when one awakeneth, it means to awake abruptly, to abruptly awake. O Lord, when thou awakest, now look at the word awakest right here, through the idea of opening the eyes. Okay, isn't it crazy? The guy talking to you was a sunglass guy, a sunglass company before I got saved. Come out of the darkness into the light with loud eyewear. One moment. Okay, so see the guy with the vampire fangs on? 
and the lightning bolts on his sleeves. That's yours truly. And that's upside down, skydiving inverted with fangs on. Okay. What are the odds that the guy that's telling you all this has that background? And then that's got the space shuttle discovery right there behind my head. You can see the bright light. That's the space shuttle launching and it's the discovery. Do you understand? These two pictures right here should be enough to make anybody understand that I had nothing to do with what I'm doing, that it was all prearranged by the Lord God. So here we go. Let's keep going real quick. Okay, so when thou one awaketh, O Lord, when thou awakest to open the eyes, come out of the darkness into the light. Here we go, to be made naked. So when you turn the virgin upside down, it's a dead sheep, you're making her naked. Do you understand? By inverting her, you've made her naked. You've made her visible. You've made her understandable. You've been able to penetrate her hidden kingdom, and her whole hidden kingdom is to destroy all angels. There you go. Now you see it, don't you? It's easy to see now, isn't it? Yes. Okay. When thou awakest, thou shalt despise, despise, Disesteem, despise their image. Selem, there it is. Two shade. Okay, remember the video I showed you where yesterday where the girl pulls up the blanket and she becomes like the Grim Reaper, Reaper and it shades uh, Michael J. Fox. The first thing they do is they show you the shade. Go watch the video from yesterday. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. It was all biblical, like the word manifesting. Okay. When thou awakest, uh, you shall despise their image. It's the exact same word as Genesis 1. Let us create man in our image. Two shade, a phantom, an illusion, resemblance, sense of representative figure, especially an idol. Okay? Okay, so now, now we're ready. So it's taken 27 minutes to get you ready. So when you awakest, O Lord, in us, because... Adam is Christ's representative, is in all of us. And when you awake, arise, O sleeper, see, your identity is hidden in Christ. And when you awaken, Christ resurrects in you. You're able to see the truth, and then you accept the truth and ask Christ to take over and be your Lord and Savior. And then you offer yourself as a living sacrifice back to God, and then he does whatever he has planned for you. So there it is. Okay. Now, let's look at despise their image. Let's start right here with Miley Cyrus. Okay, that is not normal. <laughs> That's not normal. Uh, you know what the name of that song is? Mother's Daughter. Do you know what Parthenogenesis is? So a female that, like Komodo Dragon, uh, other types of reptiles... A female archetype is able to self-fertilize and produce offspring. Another female, mother's daughter. Do you get it? That's why Miley Cyrus has uh, the video called Mother's Daughter Parthenogenesis. And it's a cannibalistic system they're setting up. That's why she's got those teeth on her neoprene suit okay so now let's look at another picture and let's just do the common denominator this is a band called cage the elephant this is a girl sitting in a bathtub but she's really a shadow it's a shadow and what's coming out of her looks like the same thing uh in the zoomies bag or all these other uh things i'm about to show you i'll show you a, a view right down the center of it so when it opens up it's death so now let me just show you that little clip from cage the elephant with no music, so we don't get a copyright thing. So here you go. You can go watch this. Uh, you can go watch this scene with the music. It's called "Hungry Snatch Cage the Element." That's the name of the clip. Uh, that's the name of the song. Sorry. Here you go. Ready? Okay. So there he's going down this tunnel. Here's the shadow of a female. Then here you go. And I mean, you know, that's not normal, or is it? Okay, so there you go. So now you got the same common denominator working over and over again. 
And so now let's just start showing you the same thing. Wow, here's a Zoomies bag from the mall. I think I have one right in here maybe. Well, I do, but it'd be hard to get out. So this is a bag that they put your, your purchase in at Zoomies, the skateboard shop. Look at the dimension. See, it's like a door in space. See it? And this thing's coming out of it with its mouth wide open, and it's eating these five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, five sperm looking things with triangular heads. Um, and that matches exactly, exactly this. There it is again. Same thing. Had teeth in the middle. Uh, has teeth. Okay, here we go. What about Scooby-Doo? Okay, same thing. So let's watch the little clip from Scooby-Doo then. Here we go. Okay, now I want I want you to just look at this for one sec. Look at the wall behind them. See, look at the wall behind them. Look at this. So, is someone trying to tell me those are turkeys where the breast is split right down the middle and there's teeth in them? Because I'm sorry, with a bunch of wieners around their neck pulling them and pinning them to the wall. I mean, that's as silly obvious as it gets that they're euphemistically making those penises and vaginas. Okay, so there you go. I'll just leave it at that. That's probably enough of that. So now we have the same exact common denominator as the thing. So we have Miley Cyrus. The th then we have Cage the Elephant. Then we have a Zoomies bag. Then we have uh, Scooby-Doo. And then we have the thing that absorbs Adam. Are you, you, you're starting to realize that, wait a minute, this is called The Strain. It's uh, a series on, I forget what platform, but there it is. Here's a GIF. That's it, The Strain. So it's always the same thing. Uh, here's a diorama called The Deceit of Women. And this is, see the open mouth uh, that this girl's painting? And there's a girl on top. And this part that you're seeing is under the water. So you can't see it because it's below the surface of the water. And so here she has the girl coming out of the water. But below the surface of the water is the monster with the teeth like the rest of the images I've shown you. And there she is. I'm sorry, there she is with two soldiers, two men walking up, and she's, uh, you know, some naked woman they're just wandering up on. I mean, who would spend that kind of time to make that diorama without something just seriously, weirdly motivating them? There it is. Same same thing. So it's not really arguable. You know, some people like to argue, but okay, then I'll say, let's show it to you again and again. American Horror Stories, four episodes. Okay, here's the same exact thing. 
this worm-like thing with its mouth open and eye like a serpent. And this female looks all emaciated. On her back, it's SX. S is the number 19 uh, alphanumerically in the alphabet. So it means to slaughter. And then 24 means with a feeling of indignation and anger. So slaughter with indignation and anger. So that's kind of funny because that's exactly the vibe that's going around these days. Have you noticed there's this indignation and hatred? Mm -hmm. And that's because that female energy is taking over because that female energy runs the worms down in the pit. She runs that system. When I say she, it's female energy, but it's masquerading as a two-party system. That's all it is. The whole thing's just a transmutation circle. It's a transmutation device for alchemy at its best, turning an angel into a locust from the pit. That's what this all... Why do you think Ozzy Osbourne is down in the pit, turning into a locust with the female, telling him, like, go forth, and it says ultimate sin? So there's Ozzy Osbourne. It says the ultimate sin. He gave himself over to a female master, and he's coming up out of the pit. And this is not uncommon in music. So could you tell me why would you have a band that would do an album called Unto the Locust right here? Uh, and it's Machine Head, Unto the Locust. These guys both have Flying V guitars making triangles. There you go. I mean, it's just so stupid obvious right now. So here it is, Unto the Locust. I mean, really? I, I mean, I don't know what else it takes to prove everything that the Lord's shown me is self-sustaining. It just always proves out because it manifests in everything. See, so here we go. Let's keep going. All right. So then here's an altar of the Virgin right here. See the altar of the Virgin? This is, I forgot what it was, a trailer for something. But this is an eye and this is an eye and this girl standing in the middle. These are teeth. I'm going to shrink it down now. And I'll show you. It's easier to see when it's small. There it is. See the eye, eye, and the open mouth? That's the virgin. There it is. That's the entity. So now just do the math. I mean, here it is. It's it's all the, it's always the same. So look at her crotch. Look at this. And here's an image of me with a dead sheep behind my ear that was drawn by Alex. So uh, here's an interesting uh, logo. Look at this. Junk. J-U-N-K. But look at what it is. This is what they consider junk, which is us. Remember Noah Har Harari, the guy that's Klaus Schwab's right-hand man? He's like, uh, human beings are hackable animals. That should tell you what they think of us now. They're hackable animals. That's, that's crazy. Uh, this idea that you have a soul, those days are over. That's what he said. That's what these world leaders believe. So they they are out to destroy all the sheep within the system. That's the goal. Okay, here we go. All right, back to this. I'm just going to wrap it up and just show you some more common denominators. Miley Cyrus again. Here's the American Dream, and here's the Zoomies bag. So Zoomies bag, American Horror Story, Miley Cyrus. What about Lady Gaga and the, the trap? I, I don't know if I even have that in here, but I'll just show you some more side by side. Miley Cyrus, there's the Virgin, there's Scooby-Doo, it's all the same. So now these things are very clearly identified. You remember Mantuse, the the perfume, a real man-eater. Remember the commercial? So I don't have to play it. You guys probably remember. Um, so now... Let's go back to this. As a dream when one awaketh. So, O Lord, when thou awakest, thou shalt despise their image. Well, so, see, if the Lord, the self-existent eternal Jehovah, despises their image, who made that image? Elohim. Elohim said, let us create man in our image. But see, when you're asleep, your whole life, you're asleep. This isn't a sleep human being. 
But when you awaken and you can see the truth because you've inverted everything, you will despise their image because it's like, oh, my God, I was part of that. Yep. We were breeding with an insect race is what we were doing. Yes, we were commingling with them. It's a spiritual thing. And that's why it manifests in all these different things. Because it's the common denominator. Now, here again, there is uh, Adidas Original, back-to-back -back females. Here is us. I showed that to you in the last video. But it's always the same. And it always has to do with right side up and upside down male and female energy opposite directions so all right i wanted to show this to you guys tonight just to keep it moving in this data flowing uh the movie nefarious uh there is the same facial facial structure one face looking this way one face looking the other way one right in the middle the N and the R are backwards, so N is 14, so backwards is 41, and R is 18, so backwards is 81. So 4181 in the Bible means possession. You're looking right at it. I told you, the Lord has taught me to speak their language. Do you think it's possible that the N and the R backwards mean possession? And it's a movie about demonic possession. Is it possible that Detective Spooner in iRobot, his badge number is 4084. The Lord told me to look it up in the Bible. And it means I apprehend, catch, and arrest. Is it possible to show you Miley Cyrus uh, playing a board game upside down on the ceiling? Devils roll the dice, angels roll their eyes. And it's 241 of another race. And then 336 to kill and murder. So it's solved. Do you understand? It is solved. The Lord allowed me and used me to solve the riddle of ages do you do have any of y'all been here long enough to remember i think around 2014 maybe before that 2013 2012 when the lord told me i'm going to use you to solve the riddle of ages and i was like and I, <laughs> i'd done the hieroglyph i was like wow well the hieroglyph is the basis for understanding all this the hieroglyph it's all of this is in the hieroglyph of Akhenaten and Nefertiti. Do y'all know how supernatural what you're getting to see is? I mean, do you know how far past the veil all this is that, that the Lord's allowing you to see here? Do you know how this changes the world? This is not, I mean, this is so far past the human brain that if you see and you understand this, then let me, let me give you a scripture. If the sun sets you free, you're free indeed. I've been set free of the world, you guys. The world has nothing on me. I don't even belong here. I'm a resident alien. I was attached to my own demon, but then I got converted by the grace of God. And that's all I want for you. That's all I want. I just want you to be safe. My goal, Jonathan Clegg's goal for you, is your absolute eternal safety. That's all I want. I know. That's all I want. That's all I want for everybody. But that's what I want for you. I want you to have the freedom that I have. You're not going to be scared anymore. You're not going to be afraid to face a World War III scenario, which is at the door any moment. So whatever happens, you're going to be okay in the end. doesn't matter. We've been set free of the fear of death. Okay? All right. Okay. Um, now, very quickly, guys. Um, oh, two things. Some people ask about, you know, hey, uh, there's commercials uh, on some of my videos now. That's because we use some copyrighted content and they allow us to use it. But the owners of that content, they get paid for it if we use any of it. So you may see a commercial here and there because I want to use these little video clips so I can show you stuff because I'm not monetized. I've never been non monetized, never will. The Lord told me I could not monetize. I could not sell one single thing. Everything was to give away as you freely received, freely give. And that's what we're doing. Okay. And now here's the other thing. Um, I also try and help people stay employed. That's one thing we try and do when we can, if we can have an effect doing that. And this is one of those cases, the beanies, all my beanies. And by the way, 
me wearing beanies is like me getting dressed up because <laughs> I'll match my beanie to my clothes most of the times. But anyway, let me just show you real quick. So all these different beanies were made by Happy Hippie Crochet. They're super cool, and I'm going to give you a quick video. Check this one out. This is super cool. It's got little, like, lights in it. It's kind of hard to see, uh, maybe from where you're at, but it shimmers. Uh, you can ask them about these. They have, like, it looks like there's little stars all over it. Anyway, and they have just awesome colors. They just do all so many cool things with beanies. And this is where I get my entire beanie collection that I match my clothing to. So, anyway. Kind of fun way to dress. Um, so now I'm going to play the the Happy Hippie Crochet video. And if any of you guys need beanies or gifts or stuff like that, it goes to a great cause for keeping people busy and and keeping uh, funds coming in so, to people that have taken steps of faith. Okay. All right. So what do you guys think? Isn't it crazy? I mean, is this? It's it's everywhere, guys. Go watch Prometheus again. Just go watch some of the movies that you've watched in the past. Just go watch them again. You'll be like, I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. The whole world is the word made manifest. When, when you really see things as they are, you'll see the truth in everything. And the Bible says, for those whose hearts have been made pure, everything becomes pure. And when you get to see it, there's nothing like it. It's like, I walked into, I walked into a, I walked into Walmart and I looked around one time and I could see every, I just, my eyes just went and I could see everything. And all I could do was stand there and laugh. <laughs> I was just like, <laughs> I was like, Oh my God, where am I? Uh huh. We're not in Kansas anymore, guys. All right, let's grab our bears. Grab your bears, bear, bear, Hug cult members. Grab your bear. Think of people you love. Think of Jesus. Think of anyone you love. <sighs> Good hug. All right. Now, beanies, if you can, great gifts. They don't just make beanies, by the way. They make all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, it's all crocheted, all handmade. Okay, here you go. I'm going to show you a quick beanie thing, then I'm going to wrap it up. Hmm. Hi, it's Tammy and Bella with Happy Hippie Crochet. It's that time of year again. Time to make some beanies. Beanie time! <laughs> Fingerless gloves, uh, pom pom hats, um, anything you like, I can make. Um, I'll try to put some stuff in the slideshow that I've made so you can see what I do. I've been working on a really nice rug that's real lacy and intricate that um, you could put in any room of your house. I have one in my bathroom and it's beautiful, it really gives it a nice accent. Um, you can reach me at my email address. It's in the description box. I just want y'all to know that we wish you a happy Thanksgiving and we love you all. Hope to hear from you soon. Bye. So there's Happy Hippie Crochet at Gmail. By the way, if you guys want to go there, you can just go click on Happy Hippie Crochet right here and go to their site. Okay. There you go. Yikes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, but I'll tell you what. 
we're organizing uh, folders right now, and we're working on the DVD. It's coming along really well. It's just so, it's so intense to get to see all this stuff that's been collected all these years and how hindsight has proven all of it to be so perfect. It's crazy. So anyway, Zach and I have a ton of stuff that we're putting together and we're making a lot of, Zach's just got some cool ways of sh showing stuff. I just like the way Zach puts things together. He has a really cool way of doing it. So I'm working on the audio and giving it to Zach and Zach's taking all this cool stuff we are, we have as well as a bunch of stuff that y'all haven't seen and he's just kind of blending it all in so you guys can see the system from beginning to end and that's the goal to leave something behind for posterity so anyone that's here during the great tribulation if they find the dvd that we have coming out you'll know you'll know that it was all true. You'll be like, my God, it was all, it's all true. The, here's all, all the information on the, the earth, who we are, why we're here, what's our purpose for being. Guys, we're exiles. I mean, hello. We're being, we're being, um, chastened. Why do you think the Bible says I will chasten them with scorpions? What scorpions? From the pit, scorpions. Anyway, all right, guys, I love you in Christ. Peace and grace. Let me look at the folder one more time. I don't think I missed anything big. There's some there's some scriptures down here at the bottom that y'all have probably seen. But a couple of them you may not have seen. I want to show you Psalm 19, 13. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins and let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgression. Look at this. So let's go there. Psalm 1913. Okay. It's a revolt, national, moral, or religious rebellion. Through the idea of expansion to break away from just authority, apostatize. Y'all know what that expansion is? It mentions that in Ezekiel of of Lucifer expanding, like stretching out his wings, expansion. Mm -hmm. It's the host body system. All right, guys. I love you in Christ. I'm going to try and keep the information as it's coming to me. I'm just going to try and keep an open spigot to where even if I'm not ready to do a whole vid or something, I don't want all this information to pile up on me. It's too much. So I'm going to be shoving it out the door all the time. Because I have more information that y'all haven't seen. Lots of it. I just can't get to all of it. It's too much. So uh, this is one of the new things I'm going to do. Even if I have stuff that uh, is just a common denominator, like I just showed you at the beginning of this, I'm going to make sure y'all have seen it. Because at the end of this thing, this DVD, you're going to see all this stuff plugged in and your jaws are going to come off your face because every single bit of it is biblical. Woohoo! All right. Love you in Christ.